Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we displayed the multiplication table for the number 2 using the for loop. We are using a for loop, you can see that it is a forward for loop. Why is it is a forward for loop? Because in the beginning, we set the counter variable value to a minimum value and we increment the counter variable value in every iteration to make it reach to the maximum value. Minimum to maximum is called as forward for loop. We can use this forward for loop to display the multiplication table for any number. I can change here to 3, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that it is displaying the multiplication table for 3. We can display for any number. I can display for 20. I just change here also to 20, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that it is displaying the multiplication table for the number 20. As I told that in this video tutorial, we are going to display the multiplication table in the reverse order, right? So we need to display the multiplication table in the reverse order, file, save, go to browser and refresh. At present, we have forward direction. Now I need to display first 2 into 10 equal to 20, 2 into 9 equal to 18 like that in the reverse order. How do we display that? With the help of reverse for loop, we can display the multiplication table in the reverse order. What is the meaning of reverse for loop? Reverse for loop means we have to go from maximum to minimum. We should assign the counter variable to the maximum value initially and we should decrement the counter variable in every loop to make it reach to the minimum value. So what I have to do here is uh, I need to initialize this i value to the maximum value 10, right? 2 into 10 equal to 20. That's what we need first. And then it should decrement in every iteration. So I say here minus minus instead of plus plus. And we need to check for the minimum value. I need to replace this less than to greater than and instead of 10, we need here 1. All these three statements are dependent on one another, friends. Okay, So we start at maximum, we reduce in every iteration and check for the minimum value. This is actually called as reverse for loop, maximum to minimum. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we have displayed the multiplication table in the reverse order successfully. Now we understand this uh, code, how this code is working. Let me copy this code and go to uh, MS Paint and paste here. Let me change the color to black and we put it in a proper place. Okay. We know that this is the first part that is initialization part and uh, the condition part is the second part and uh, the block is the third part and this is the fourth part, right? Now how the for loop executed? When the control hits the for loop, it executes the initialization statement first, where i is equal to 10, we are telling to the browser to create one memory location for the variable i and uh, initialize it with the value 10. So i is going to have the value 10 initially, you can see that. After executing the first part, the control moves to the second part. It checks the condition whether i is greater than or equal to 1. Whether 10 is greater than or equal to 1. 10 is greater than 1, so the condition is true. As the condition is true, the third part will be executed, right? The document dot write displays 2 space x space the current value of i, that is 10, space equal to space. 2 into i value is 10, 2 into 10 is 20. So we see 2 space x space, the current value of i is 10, space equal to space 20 will be displayed in the browser. That's what the document dot write does. As there is a break tag, the cursor will be moved to the next line. Then after executing the third part, the control moves to the fourth part, i minus minus. What happens here, the i value will be decremented by 1. It is 10, it is going to become 9. Then the control moves to the second part, 
it checks the condition whether i is greater than or equal to 1 whether 9 is greater than or equal to 1 9 is greater than 1 so the condition is true as the condition is true the third part will be executed the document dot white displays 2 space x space the current value of i is 9 space equal to space 2 into 9 is 18 and break tag is there it moves the cursor to the next line after executing the third part the control moves to the fourth part i minus minus the i value will be decremented by 1 it is going to become 8 after executing the fourth part the control moves to the second part again the condition will be checked whether i is greater than or equal to 1 whether 8 is greater than or equal to 1 8 is greater than 1 the condition is true any one condition is true the result will be true remember that so third part will be executed the document dot white displays 2 space x space 8 space equal to 2 into 8 is 16 and moves uh, cursor to the next line after executing the third part the control moves to the fourth part i minus minus the i value will be decremented by 1 it is going to become 7 then the control moves to the second part again the condition will be checked whether i is greater than or equal to 1 whether 7 is greater than or equal to 1 7 is greater than 1 the condition is true as the condition is true the third part will be executed the document dot white displays 2 space x the current value of i is 7 you can see that then space equal to space 2 into i 2 into 7 is 14 as there is a break tag the cursor will be moved to the next line after executing the third part the control moves to the fourth part i minus minus the i value will be decremented by one it is going to become six then the control moves to the second part again it checks the condition whether i is greater than or equal to one whether six is greater than or equal to one six is greater than one the condition is true as the condition is true third part will be executed the document dot white displays 2 space x space 6 space equal to 2 into 6 is 12 and the cursor will be moved to the next line as there is a break tag after executing the third part the control moves to the fourth part i minus minus the i value will be decremented by 1 it is going to become 5 then the control moves to the second part again the condition will be checked whether i is greater than or equal to 1 whether 5 is greater than or equal to 1 5 is greater than 1 the condition is true so the third part will be executed the document dot white displays 2 space x space 5 equal to 2 into 5 is 10 and cursor will be moved to the next line after executing the third part the control moves to the fourth part i minus minus the i value will be decremented by 1 it is going to become 4 and then the control moves to the second part again the condition will be checked whether i is greater than or equal to 1 whether 4 is greater than or equal to 1 4 is greater than 1 the condition is true as the condition is true the third part will be executed the document dot white displays 2 space x space 4 space equal to space 2 into 4 is 8 then the cursor will be moved to the next line as there is a break tag then the control moves to the fourth part i minus minus the i value will be decremented by one it is going to become three then the control moves to the second part again the condition will be checked whether i is greater than or equal to one i is three three is greater than one the condition is true as the condition is true the third part will be executed the document dot white displays two space x space 3 equal to 2 into 3 is 6 and the cursor will be moved to the next line after executing the third part the control moves to the fourth part i minus minus the i value will be decremented by 1 it is going to become 2 then the control moves to the second part the condition will be checked whether i is greater than or equal to 1 whether 2 is greater than or equal to 1 2 is greater than 1 condition is true the third part will be executed the document dot white displays 2 space x space 2 equal to 2 into 2 is 4 then the cursor will be moved to the next line after executing the third part the control moves to the fourth part i minus minus 
the i value will be decremented by 1 and it is going to become 1 then the control moves to the second part again the condition will be checked whether i is greater than or equal to 1 whether 1 is greater than or equal to 1 you can see that 1 is not greater than 1 but 1 is equal to 1 one condition is true so the result will be true as the condition is true the document dot write will display 2 space x space 1 equal to 2 into 1 is 2 and as there is a break tag the cursor will be moved to the next line and after executing the third part the control moves to the fourth part i minus minus the i value will be decremented by 1 it is going to become 0 then the control moves to the second part the condition will be checked whether i is greater than or equal to 1 0 is not greater than 1 0 is not equal to 1 so as both the conditions are false the result is going to be false as this condition is evaluating to the false the control moves outside the for loop and executes if any statements are there this is how the reverse for loop works friends so you should understand the values what you need to write in the initialization condition and increment and decrement section right if you if you are starting at maximum then you should decrement and you should check for greater than if you are starting with minimum then you should increment and you should check for less than so that you should remember this is how you can display the multiplication table in the reverse order this is how the reverse for loop is used in solving problems and uh, of course you can display for any other number I can try for 3 file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we have displayed a multiplication table for 3 in the reverse order I hope you guys have clearly understood the difference between forward for loop and reverse for loop I think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends in the next video tutorial we get more information on JavaScript for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys, thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.